and welcome to my channel model making trucker and a, another live stream where we are going to continue building the hk lancaster 130 second scale um, in the last one we made up the turrets so um and during the week i've managed to get the actual glass masked off clear parts masked off ready for painting so let's have a quick look at the chat. We have got first in Mayhem Model Works, which is Andy saying Spoon again Tuesdays, except it's Saturday. Yep, I hope it's Saturday. Um, and then we got my wife, Dexterous Crafter, in saying hey, Andy. Um, and Andy saying hello to Nat and saying I'll take it, everyone else will just spill in. Yeah, they tend to. Um, on a Saturday, it tends to be a bit slow to get started and then picks up pace, hopefully, fingers crossed. If not, it's just me and you sat here. Um, but no, we've got Ghost Rider in saying hello. Hello, Ghost Rider. And then we've got Henry in saying hello and good morning. Good morning, Henry. And then everyone, Nat and Andy, Ghost Rider and Henry saying hello to each other. So let's go down to Z bench and hopefully this is going to work there we go a lovely nice clean piece of paper i have been doing some spraying so what we've got is this is the top turret that will sit in there maybe not like that maybe like that i'm just or maybe I was right first time to sit in there like so get pushed in and then the glass that is really shiny into so we could just change it the glass all masked off will sit on top um, and then we've got the rear turret there like that and again with that glass masked off ready to go so oh we've got Jamie Bone in saying hi Nat hi Jamie hope you're doing well um, that's a lot of painted newspaper. It is. I tend to keep everything. I don't throw anything away, including newspaper that I use for spraying on. Um, and we've got Kevin Stevens in saying afternoon all and Connor and Paige. They're just currently playing with the scale electrics that they got for Christmas. And I see Lewis has been at the Kinder Eggs again. No, I'm just fat. Uh, Ghost Rider saying, so today wants to hibernate until spring. It's lovely outside. Just think about going out and getting a suntan. It is a bit nippy. I am just currently looking for a paint. Just talk amongst yourselves just while I find this paint. I did think I had them all pulled out to one side, but There we go, found it. 
We've got Jamie saying, hi, Triple M. Triple M. Um, oh. Yeah, I'm feeling better now. I now have my mojo back to build the FX Tiger. Ooh. Ghost Rider saying hi to Connor and Paige. Um, and they're saying, oh, Lewis has had a clear up. He's lost a lot of paint. Yeah, I think Nat's the one that's had the clear out. I don't think lost would be the word she would use, more binned. I can't even open it now. Oh, there's nothing like everything going smoothly, is there? So, we're going to do this all in the NATO black. I quite like this colour. I know it's black, but I like black. Best to me, our brush isn't turned on. There we go. Eric in saying morning all from Twisted Rail Hobbies and everyone saying hello to Eric and everyone else. And he's saying the air from the air bush sounds like bad whispering. Yeah. I'm hoping it drowns out the three kids arguing in the background. Well, I say two kids, I think it's three kids. Connor and Paige are arguing about who's won, and Nat's on about, you're not racing, you're not supposed to be racing. Yeah. Of course they are. They both want to be first and they both want to win.
We've got Russell Williamson in saying afternoon all afternoon. Russell, hope you're well. And then they're just everyone's just talking about the whispering. Which if you don't know, it's just the airbrush. So with these, like with the front turret, the only thing I've got left to put on them is the photo itself. today Andy thinks I'm whispering sweet nothings into Nat's ear with the hope that it will lead to a 3D printer. Yeah, I'll, I will get a 3D printer one day. Or Eric saying all that new diamond art that he wants. I don't want a new diamond art. I must admit, you do keep going on about it though, Eric. So in, is it because you secretly want it to be a diamond art?
Ghost Rider saying, sounds like Twisted Rail really wants the diamond up. Yeah, he, he keeps mentioning it, so I think he, he really does. And they're saying this is a PSA. I'm presuming that's public service announcement. Please remember to stick your thumbs up, looks. Like that. The more likes, the less chance of seeing Lewis in a purple mankini. Yep, more thumbs up means I definitely won't be wearing a purple mankini. No thumbs up definitely means I won't be wearing a purple mankini. So now we're going to start on the bit that I dread, spraying the clear parts. The reason I dread doing these is because you get one shot at it. So Jamie is asking, Eric, what railway scale do you do on your channel? Andy saying, Dexterous Crafty, you mean in the in the clown suit? Clown suit? So how's everyone's week been so far? Has been quite long, to be honest. I um got another new job, which means I'm back on the early start, but I'm not guaranteed the nights out, and I'm not getting them at the moment. Let's uh, see, in time. This means now I drive for an hour to work and now home from work every day.
but I'm just grateful I've still got a job. You know, everything that's going on, there's a lot of uncertainty and everything, so I'm not going to complain. See that, can you? go that is all the toilets painted job done so before we take the masking off I'm just gonna let it dry up a little I'll leave it too long because I don't want the paint to go completely off and then when I rip the masking off, it cracks and chips the paint. Because that wouldn't be very good. But likewise, I don't want to be touching it while it's still wet and getting my fingers all over it. Let me just clean the airbrush. We've got 11 people watching. If you've not said hi in the chat, come and say hi. You have said hi in the chat, so I say hi again. Just so I know the chat's still working. everyone been working on? Uh, so will you say hi again? What's everyone been working on? 
And what's everyone's dream kit they would like to build? And why haven't you? I've got quite a few dream kits. The trouble is, I actually have them. So one of the dream kits was the Titanic. Um, I've got a fascination with the Titanic, as my wife will tell anyone. Um, I do a lot of research and a lot of background research into the Titanic. But I actually have that kit. The reason I've not built it is because I'm banned. And that will not let me start it until one of two things has happened. A, we've got a new house, our own house. Or B, I built all the other kits in the stash. Another ground kit of mine is the Missouri, USS Missouri. Now, that one, I weren't 100% fussed on what scale it was in. But thanks to Models for Heroes, I managed to snag the 1-200 scale with the photo etch detail upset. Russell saying dream kit is the 1350 USS Enterprise refit. It's under the stairs and I'm still practicing on other kits. Yeah, um, I'm presuming that is the Star Trek one. And it being US Enterprise refit. Don't come apart. So it took me a fair few hours to put this masking on. It's all cut out. all for about 20 seconds work and now I'm peeling it off Russell just saying, yeah, not the aircraft carrier. No, there. It certainly looks a very impressive kit, I must say, and it's one that I wouldn't mind doing. But A, I don't think that will let me buy any more models for some reason. I can't imagine why. Yeah. 
Uh, the kit I want to get is the Ryfield Challenger 2 with bazooka plates. Ooh, I quite like the Challenger 2 as well. Russell saying, done well on that masking, Lewis. Thank you very much, Russell. There we go. So that is the first one done. That's the rear turret. All done. Now for the front turret. We've got Ghost Rider saying, no more kids. Who says things like this? Um, <laughs> my really nice, loving wife.
can get there in a minute. Two more panels. So it's saying, like saying, I'm just going to the hobby shop just for a pot of paint. Yep. That's all I ever go in for. There we go. And that's the last one. All done. And so when these are all fixed up, this is going to give me trouble. that this light's not right is it Let's see if that helps not really it's a look something like that and the same with this one Certainly when you look at it like that, it looks really dark in there. It gives you a sense of what they actually, how they must have felt even just flying over. Or the saying, I'm just going to that one diamond art just doesn't happen. See, I wouldn't know about that because I've only done one diamond art and they ain't doing any more. Well, I have a feeling that Eric on his channel will be doing a diamond art before too long. He keeps mentioning it. So, also, over the course of the week, I have done a little bit extra to the cockpit. So it's still in the state that we left it, still put together. It's only dry fitted, but I've just gone around and painted these bits red where they would join up to the side of the fuselage or another piece. So it just makes it look like a cutaway, which in essence, that's what it's going to be. Um, I just need to put some detail painting on these bits down here. But that bit is nigh on ready to go to be finally stuck together, and that's not going to happen for some time because I get nervous when I'm sticking things together. We got Archie at Common Road Junction in saying, Hey, all hey, Archie, hope you're doing well. 
And we got Lynn Dipple in. Hello, Lynn. Saying, geez, I overslept. Sorry, hard week at work. How do you all? It's all right, Lynn. We, we don't mind people being light. I don't mind anyone being light. I don't mind anyone at all. So, what's our next piece? It says that we need to do all these bombs and things like that. But I'm not going to do them just yet because they don't get installed until the whole fuselage comes together. So I, I don't need to do them. Not yet. I think. There's not a world amount more left to do. So we've got all the engines to build up. We've got the engines made and primed. So there's one of the engines, but I'm not going to install them because I'm going to be doing something different. So I can't really do the nacelles for it, which I just thought because I need to be able to add these other bits in. So what I am going to be doing, I'm going to be putting motors in the nacelles and I'm going to have where the aircraft stood on a platform, I'm going to have each of these engines sat in front of the engine, in front of the actual engines on the aircraft. And then underneath them there's going to be a button, so all you do is push the engine down and it starts the engine on the actual plane. That's the theory of it anyway. I think in practice, I think it's going to be fairly simple to do, to wire up and everything. But I've never done anything like this before, so we'll see. Let's have a look. Should we make some bombs up? Do you think? Can't do any more until I've got the two halves of the fuselage together, but I've got some detailed painting to do on them bits. So, them bits can't be done until I've got the motors which I need to ask permission to buy the motors. Yeah, let's make some bombs up. So, we're going to be doing these bits here, and I am going to be doing this big one because it's in the one that I want to do. It on. Show need EE and FF. EE. -E. So I think each sprue will make four bombs. Uh, there's that gas lock in the back. So that's the big one. These are the equal ones. So we'll get rid of that. that. Thank you. 
get rid of the airbrush because we've done that for the time being. Let's clear some space. There we go. Nice clean, well, cleanish. So we've got Steve from Totally Scale Models in saying, Hello everyone, don't forget to click on the like button. Yes, thank you very much. If you'd be so kind as to give me a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. You know what, on the other hand, if you don't like it and you want to give me a thumbs down, that's fine. You know what, but if you give me a thumbs down, tell me why. You know, tell me what I can do better, if I can change anything. You know, because a thumbs down is fine, it's a thumbs down. We just see it as a view at the end of the day. You know, if there's something that you don't like about the screen, have a bit of courtesy. If you've got the guts to put the thumbs down, have the guts to tell us why. Basically, I'm not bothered about any thumbs down. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'm not going to lose any sleep about it. But if there's something I can do better, different, change, you know what? There's probably other people thinking the same. You've been the one that's had the guts to put thumbs down, so back it up with something. That's just come up. Uh, Steve saying, where's the bouncing bomb, Lewis? That's not released it yet, Steve. Um, Lynn, not really, but we do have a PRN as needed tech now. Now my Tuesday, Wednesday days off are kind of messed up. It seems I work two weekends a month. At least you guarantee weekends off. Well, two weekends. So you've got Eric saying, Lois, to make the live streams better, have more Nat in the background heckling you. Yeah, she's got the chance to write in chat if she wishes. She can heckle from there. Uh, we've got James, model officer, saying afternoon all. Afternoon, James. And Steve saying, so how can you get Spanner, James? Um, I thought you you also had a Spanner, Steve. Have you not got a Spanner? Where have you got? I will correct that issue. I will tell Nat to sort it. Because I don't know how. So that will fit on the like so. First, I need to drill a couple of holes. 
So where's our thing in my bulb? And our didgeridoo. Tell me what size. No, that's, well, that's not good. That might be a bit of overkill. James saying, I'm a spanner, Steve. And then Steve saying, we're well aware of that, James. See, James has added responsibilities. I don't know what they are, but he has added responsibilities. And no, I am not even going to show that one, James. Not even to click it up on the screen because it ain't going to happen. Tell you what. With that one then, James, when you do a 1350 paper battleship model, I will cook that dinner. So Stu saying a ping meal does not count, Lewis. No, I will cook a proper proper meal. I'll even go as far as saying I will cook a, a Sunday dinner. But before I do, I want to see both you, Steve, and James build a 1350 paper battleship. Like that. Just finishing, Lewis, to send to you for Christmas. Well, we'll have to wait and see then. So you heard it here. If James and Steve does a 1350 paper battleship, I will cook that lunch. Lewis, are you saying you will cook if I make a paper ship? No, James. I'm saying I will cook if you build a proper 1350 scale paper battleship model. And it needs to be recorded for video evidence. Not that I distrust you or anything. Well, got to say, well, sorry, got to get. Got to say, I got to go now. Nice stream, nice show, Lewis. Bye, my friends. Be careful, be safe. That was just a complete tongue twist, wasn't it? Yeah, thank you very much, Lynn. Thank you for joining us. Hope you stay safe. 
Uh, York is made from scratch. Oh, yes. Who do you think taught Nat how to make the Yorkies? Cook once more like Sunday dinner for a year. Aren't that right, Nat? That is every Sunday for a year. No. No. You need to build this paper ship battleship. Paper battleship. Needs to be a proper one, not not like the origami stuff that you've got in mind, James. I can only add the spanners from the computer, Steve. When Lewis is finished, you'll, I'll add your spanner. Four River B, Lewis. Oh, no. Sorry, buddy, I'm not that cheap, Lewis. Ah, you see. I am. Need to decide what I'm going to build on the crash as well tonight. Why not a four rib? Because to cook that, you need to roast it. And I can't eat roast beef. So unfortunately, we don't ever have roast beef because I physically cannot eat it. Need to make eighteen of these, apparently. Uh, Steve asking why? I don't know, mate. I literally sit there chewing and chewing. I've had it no end of times. They've been cooked loads of different ways. And I just literally cannot eat beef. Literally, I just can't swallow the stuff. 
And yeah, I can eat a steak. The steak has to be cooked blue. But I've got no trouble in eating that. But roast beef, nah. Can't do it. <laughs> so we've got James saying, three bird roast, closest you will get to a threesome. Yeah, I would rather not get any closer to a threesome, thank you. It's bad enough, just not. I did listen to your podcast. Is it a podcast? No, nah, is it a podcast? I think it's a podcast. I think I'm down with the kids by saying it was a podcast. There we go. I'm down with the kids. It's a podcast. I did listen to that today. I thought it was very inspiring. Never listened to one before, so when it popped up, I thought, oh. I didn't even know, when it come up, I didn't even know it was done by you, James. I just pressed play, and it played some music, and I was just about to click off it, thinking, oh, I'm not listening to that, and then I heard James and Malcolm's voice come on it, and you know what, I sat there and I listened to the whole thing, and it was really enjoyable. And I think it was something different. It was a different way of enjoying the model shows, the YouTubes and whatnot. And it was even funnier when Malcolm edited in the name of the, um, it's not Star Trek, what's the other one? The other type of Star Trek thing. When he edited that in twice, I thought that was really enjoyable. There we go, James saying it's Star Wars. That's the one. It was Star Wars. Return of the Jedi, is that right? Is that another down with the kids thing? Uh, what did I do with all of them then? I think that's been tidying up. Yeah, so James and Malcolm did a podcast called Just Conversation. Just Making Conversation. Um, yeah, really enjoyable, actually. Um, this one, this week's was on inspiration. So what inspires you to do the types of models you do? So, I mean, my inspiration for doing what I do is I enjoy building things, but I also enjoy research as well. So every model I do, well, majority of the models I do, I research them to an inch of their lives. That's why I do, I enjoy doing the ship models, because it gives me something you can research an individual ship. So we all know, like with the Lancaster, we all know what they went through, what they did. But that was like, as a collective, you, 
everyone's aware of the dam busters and this that and the other and every time that even the dam busters are recorded they used modified lancasters they were in essence a lancaster so that is yes the lancaster was a great plane and this that and the other but it's a collective whereas when you look at different types of ships like hms belfast uss missouri bismarck Tirpitz, sheffield they've all got an individuality to them so that's what i enjoy doing i enjoy researching the individual ships and what they did themselves rather than saying the lancaster was this of the royal air force did this this and this i know there are some like just jane that never actually fought during the second world war it was used by the french as a reconnaissance plane and a search and rescue plane but i just find it more interesting just to research individual ships and that's what gives me my inspiration to do particular things i do it's james saying yeah it made me laugh too mando 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 what's mando Is that like mango like mango pickle mango chutney uh james is calling someone granddad just making conversation on facebook and all podcast platforms see i see it through facebook because i have no idea what a podcast platform is but james you can certainly put the link in for it and whatnot Ghost Rider saying, got your work cut out there with the bombs. Yes, I sort of regret saying, let's make some bombs. Not too bad, though. So, right then, in chat, put what inspires you to do what you do. Types of models or genre or what inspires you to build the models. Or hobbies. Doesn't have to be model making. I know Nat does... I don't know what that does. She does a lot of quilting and stuff like that. So what inspires you to do that? Is it just because you find it relaxing or takes your mind off other things? Or is there something like you enjoy particular, like a particular genre? Like I like doing the battleships and things like that. What inspires you to do it? Mandalorian. Oh, that's that film thing you're watching, isn't it? It's like the one with the baby Yoda.
Steve just saying the child. Oh yeah, sorry. Don't like it when it gets called baby Yoda, even though it's a baby Yoda. Whatever Yoda is. We've got Osric nine thousand in saying greetings, greetings Osric. That's a very Christmassy entrance. Greetings, greetings and salutations. Sorry, but I've got, got to have my dinner. Mummy is calling me in for tea. Oh, bless you, James. Yes, you go, you run along then, James. You run along. Don't want you getting in trouble. So, Ghost Rider, Monster Movies, and the kits Frankenstein and Dracula. Ooh. Is there, now this is going to, I'm going to show my ignorance now. Is there a lot of models to do with? like monsters and things like that or is it a lot of scratch building building them yourselves we got I was like saying deck the balls Deck the ball, deck, deck the halls. You don't want to be decking the balls because I am here. Welcome. You're here and where now, Gary? No, I'm joking. Not till the 12th of December, Oswick. Yeah, you wait. When you're out, I will put the Christmas tree up. And Ghost Rider saying, yes. Yes. So is that, yes, you have to scratch build a lot, or yes, there's a lot of models to do with ghosts and ghoulies and monster movies. By the same plenty of kits in plastic resin and vinyl for monsters like Frankenstein and whatnot. Uh, lots of kits available. I generally build out of the box. Do they come? Because obviously, we see, like the kind of stuff I do, there's a lot of photo etch stuff and whatnot available. Is th the same for them sort of kits, or do they generally come complete, so to speak? With enough detail and whatnot on them that you don't really need to be going to photo etch or aftermarket parts.
first rider saying no aftermarket available really just some replacement resin head heads on a few kits hmm. that's all right then um, and we got Carlin from Making Models saying hello. Hello, Carl. James leaves, you turn up. How are you doing? How was your. You've been away for work, haven't you? Carl saying was away training, yes. Are you back home now for good or do you have to go away again? <laughs> Is that your training complete? you let loose I'm sure you've already answered all these questions but I can't remember Carl saying, hi Nat, training is complete, however I will be with a mentor for 16 shifts. <laughs> My little boy is watching Tipping Point. <laughs> and he gets really upset. Right at the end, they get the choice of taking the money or taking the trade. <laughs> he gets really upset and frustrated when they take the money. So I don't want them to take the money. Imagine if me or his mum went on that and it'd be like, don't take the money, don't take the money, and we take the money. Or we would not live that one down. We've got 14 people watching. We've got 14 people talking in chat though. So come on, tell us what sort of stuff inspires you to do the particular hobby you do. As I said earlier, I build battleships and my inspiration is doing the research for them. Getting that all done. 
looking through it all seeing what part they had to play in particular battles and campaigns and whatnot And then it got away. So what I've got, I've actually got 20 of these bombs and for the kit it says I need 18. So I have some spare. I might have something in mind for that. Uh, Carl saying I am in need of something to get me going. Hopefully now all my training is complete. I can get back into it. I know what I'll get you going. What I'll get you back into it. I've got the perfect thing. I've got two of them actually. So I don't mind sending one over to you. Russell Williamson is saying, I used to build kits as a kid, but they were always plain. So I like sci-fi kits because they're not planes. That being said, next next kit I'm building is the 130 second tornado, which is a plane. Do you have a particular sci-fi thing that you go to? Like the Star Wars and Star Trek and Blake 7 and Space 1999, is there a particular one you favour, or is it any spacey thing?
I found a couple of little Airfix planes are a good little build, really easy to build and paint. They certainly are. Oh, I really need some new sanding sticks. Let's see if Nat will let me. No, I've got a couple of, well, I say a couple. I've got one sci-fi thing. It's a Star Wars slave one. That I need to do. But I might be doing something a little bit different for that. So you'll have to watch this space. So I've just had a customary text message from my dear wife saying that she needs to get into start tea. So I will build these four bombs up. So we've got eight bombs. Because I can count really well. And then we'll start wrapping things up. And obviously, because they're all exactly the same, I'll hopefully have them all made up ready for next week. And then hopefully, midweek, I might be able to get some motors and start looking at putting a few bits together see how I can get the motors to go and work and whatnot I need to talk to someone really really nicely I don't really, because if I want to go and get them, I'll just go get them. But you got to make her feel like she has a say in things, haven't you?
at the bottom piece. So, I do might like making bombs. It's probably not the best thing to say nowadays, is it? And my little boy. Connor was asked to draw a bonfire the other day. And he was stopping at my mum's, at his grandma's. And she mispronounced it. She said, can you draw a bonfire? So, Connor did what he was told. He drew a bomb, like one of the round bombs with a fuse coming out that was lit. And wrote, bomb, fire. All because my mum mispronounced Bon bonfire. So instead of saying it with an N, she said it with an M. That'll teach her. We found it highly amusing. My wife's now going to be sat there watching this like a hawk because she can see this is the last one I've got. And she's like, don't start another one. Don't start another one. Feel her eyes burning through the screen at me. Should we do it or not? Should we do it? What do you think? Dare I defy my wife that much? Let's have a quick look at chat. So we've got Russell saying I like most most of the sci-fi from when I was young. And Ghost Rider laughing, presumably at my little boy. Just a few more can't hurt. I've only got three more sprues to do. That's all I got. Be more worried about the kids than me. Why? What are they doing? Yeah, I think I've, after that, oh, oh God. I'm getting ambushed now. You say hello? Hello. Can you say bye bye? Bye. Go on to bed then. No. No. It's not bedtime yet. Isn't it? Mm. Okay. Shall we wrap it up then? Oh. Well, I think so. Yeah, you're getting ready for some dindons. Well, we just had some. That was like four hours ago. Oh. 
I didn't know that. Well, that's fine. I'll tell you what, if you don't want any dindins, don't eat lady yours. No. Look. Yeah. Can I click on those two? Oh. Mayhem model works is saying it points where for who he's coming from. Ghost behind is saying hi Connor. No better for that? Yeah. I okay. feel much better. Good boy. Good boy. Right, are we gonna say bye to everyone? Bye. And do you know what's on tonight? No. Do you know what show's on tonight? Mm. It's called Saturday Night Crash. <gasps> I didn't know it was that. It is at 8pm when you're all tucked up in bed. Well, I didn't know that. I just wanted her help. And you have helped. I want to have mummies. <gasps> Look. I'll help. Here comes Ethan, so saying, hi Connor. Mike and Bottle is the same. Oh, he shouldn't have died. That's all right, it's TTFN. Oh. So that stands for Tata -ta for now. Echo's craft is saying, bye everyone. Yeah, so we're going to say bye then. Bye, Mummy. Bye, thank you for watching. Bye, thank you for See watching. you next week. See you next week. Bye bye. Bye.